sleep on the bus. Hey guys, it's me. So, um, that's what we always wondered. One of, some, one of my subscribers suggested that I should do a documentary on how I'm getting my type 2 diabetes in, under control. Um, so to my subscriber, thank you for the idea. Especially when you message it to me on Facebook. Um, I'm not saying that I'm not going to do I'm not saying that I want, that I don't want to do it. I'm going to try to do it. <laughs> um, but with that, with that documentary, um, I think it's going to be depending on, like, if I'm in the mood to do a video for that, for the day of me while I'm controlling my type 2 diabetes. So, yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a type 2 diabetic. I'm trying to get in, get into remission. So, um, what's hard for me is, for me, I when it comes to nutrition, I know that I need to eat healthier. I know that. I've been knowing, knowing that since, like, the second grade. <laughs> and so, um, what I need to, I know how to eat healthy. I really do. But it's just that it's, you know, being consistent with eating healthy on a daily basis. So, what I need to do is, like, you know, eat more fruits and vegetables. And to my subscriber, who has a sibling that is a diabetic, this is what I was told, dude. This is just what I was told when I was diagnosed with type 2. This is what I was told, okay? I don't know if your wife... Yeah, I don't know, but this is what I was told by the person who um, talked to me about type 2 diabetes. So, um, for me, it is like, when it comes to diets, um, because... Not all diets work for people. I mean, I have been on diets before, but they never worked out for me because I have always crashed and burned in the end. So the last diet that I was on was when I was 13 years old. I was in a I was in the treatment facility out in Denver, and the diet that they had me on was, um, like the only like say that you want to like you know seconds on like food and everything um the only way um for me at the at that age was i can only eat seconds on fruits and vegetables and so and like monday through friday i had pe because i was in a residential program it was during the school year and so yeah that was a not yeah so if you know what i mean people but other than that i mean i was able to lose weight but now that I'm an adult and don't have supervision, yeah, after I like left the residential program and finished day the day treatment program, yeah, that diet went downhill for me. So, um, so, and this is just me, and this is my opinion on diets. Diets don't work well for me. Because if I try a diet like the keto diet or um, the no carb diet or what the hell? Sorry, <laughs> I was looking out my window. Or a um, or just eat all meat diet or or something like that. Um, I will crash. I mean, I'll I'll. If I'm, like, say I'm, say I'm doing well for, like, two months, but at the end of the, like, the, like, before I, but at the end, I'll, like, pro there's a possibility of me, you know, crashing and burning. There's no one who lives with me because I live alone who will do a diet with me. So, but this is just me. So, me 
uh, for me, I have to, you know, if I want to eat healthier and, like, you know, lose the weight and everything, because I will admit on camera that I am overweight and that I am obese. I will admit on camera that, um, that if for me to lose the weight, I just have to portion out my meals. I know that I need to have meat. I need to have protein, at least. Um, I need to have, like, a certain amount of, of fruits and vegetables. I need to have a starch, because I gotta have, because gotta have at least protein to go with, a protein-based thing to go with, with, you know, carbs. There's no doubt. So, um... The hardest thing for me is to, you know, is exercising. Right now, I live on the third floor, and it sucks. Because a teacher who I've known since I was 12 years old, um, she wants me to exercise every day. And I respect her for that. I really do. It's just that and I'm not trying to make excuses. Really, I'm not. I'm just... With me going up and down the stairs, that's tiring. Because that's three flights of stairs. If I go down, going down is easy. It's just climbing up after, like, say that I'm going to the store or to the mall. Because I live the, near the Aurora Mall. Say that I go to the Aurora Mall and I walk around with my friends. After, you know... I walk, after I walk around at the mall, window shopping and stuff. By the time I come home, I have to climb up three flights of stairs. And all I want to do is like, you know, come inside, relax, and not go out for like the rest of the week. I mean, yeah, I got a lot of energy and everything, but... I'm not saying, like, sugar-wise. I mean, I got energy. It's just that I... It's just that I have to, like, you know, make sure, like... After I walk around for a certain amount of time to get, like, so... For, like, me to do so many steps, I have to walk back up three or five stairs. And that's tiring enough as it is. And so... And I'm still trying to get a ground floor apartment... So, I'm just saying. So, depending on, like, when I'm going to do those videos for my journey into getting my type 2 diabetes under control, um, I will do the documentary. It's going to be, I don't know how many videos. So, <laughs> so, yeah. Um... If you're new to my channel, subscribe, hit the like button. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.